Hey guys, and welcome to my next reaction to The Clone Wars. So, I'm I'm really excited to see. I feel like we've gotten a good variety of types of episodes, so it's always kind of interesting to see once I start kind of a new, um, you know, story arc or, or anything like that. It's kind of interesting to see what it might focus on, what characters it might focus on, so I am excited. Let's get into it. After suffering a series of disastrous defeats at the oh. hands of General Grievous, oh. all the for gold in the Outer Rim is in jeopardy. We should regroup. We don't stand a chance against Ahsoka. Suicide is not the Jedi way, Master. You should listen to your Padawan. As you listen to yours, my old Master, and I think I know how to beat Grievous at his own game. Oh. He's just like, bye. See you never. <gasps> oh shit. All batteries, target that command button. I got a bad feeling about this. your skin, Sky Guy. Just doing my job, sir. It was your plan that won the day. Where's R2? I'm sorry, Master. He's gone. <gasps> what? Congratulations, Anakin. What do you mean, your gone? This always amazes me. I lost R2 in the field. Well, R2 units are a dime a dozen. I'm sure oh! you have a suitable replacement. Anakin, it's only a droid. <gasps> Attachment is not acceptable for a Jedi. It's not just that, Master. Uh, what? He's still programmed with our tactics in base locations? If the oh, is shit. Still of him, then find that droid, Anakin. I do. Yes. Well it is not wrong to have some droid attachment. How dare you? I've heard that the new R3s are mm. far faster in thinking skills. And more oh. powerful than the old R2 units. Oh. How dare you. You can't replace R2. Ah. Uh. Don't worry, Goldie. Facts. You'll get to know him later. Goldie. Didn't they just say that you're not supposed to get attached to droids, which I don't agree with, but probably shouldn't name them. I don't know. There's my ship. <gasps> Is he? Scavenger. Help yourself, but be careful. There are many um, unique items down here. Oh, what does that mean? Oh God. These must be the unique items we were warned about. Oh. These assassin droids can be very unpredictable. Did you hear that? Hear what? That sounded like R2. Oh. A difference. It came from down here. No, Goldie, the hatch. Never mind. I'll do it myself. He's just gonna. There we go. <gasps> what is going on? Ah, oh, so good. Experience, Gramps. R2 would have never made that mistake. Oh, oh. R3 can't even Anakin. get open. Oh, goodness. Sure. Master, what are you doing? R2's not here. We don't know that. We haven't, like, searched the whole place. Like, Let's get out of here. Oh, no. I told you there were no R2 droids down here. 
miserable. No. I am in route to the rendezvous point, General. I've got the merchandise. I knew he was probably there. It must oh. be you. Okay, first of all, if you don't think that R2 will, R2 like, not, like, fuck you up. Yes, Master. Our intelligence has confirmed that Grievous' spies I mean. have been intercepting our transmissions. This is the perfect time for you and him to, you know, bond. He doesn't want to bond Talk with anybody him. else. Alright. See, R2 is gonna fuck shit up. Yeah. We love an R2 focused storyline. Oh, how dare you? Don't you dare. Go anywhere near him. Ah! See? See? No, not the tracking beacon. Shut it down, R3. Shut it down. The tracking be okay. This droid is Master Skywalker's tracking beacon. What's he doing? Rex, get a hold of as many men as you can. I don't know what is going on. Okay. Let's hope Grievous didn't hear that. Oh! Yeah, we heard it. Yep. A little bit. A little bit. Not great. Plot a course out of here and prep the hyperdrive engines. I don't ask the, the, the. I don't know. I don't trust. What are you doing? I said prep them, not drop them. Yo, what the fuck is going on? I know, I know, missiles. Get ready to cut the engines. Will you just do what I tell you? Oh my god. I'll tell you what I think. Oh, I think I'm shit. Lucky to be alive. I mean, that's fair. What about R2? Oh, my God. <laughs> He's still out there. Oh. I know it. oh. Oh, okay. Oh, goodness. Okay. Anakin Skywalker's heroic droid navigator, R2 D2, was lost in battle. Oh. When a desperate search failed. I prefer to get my reward in cash. Oh. R2's just out here doing R2 stuff. That's R2. I can never forget that voice. Trace Rex. Oh. What oh is going on So sweet. Better be worth all this How trouble. dare you? Ah! <laughs> Hold on, R2, old buddy. We're coming. Aww. What secrets do you carry, my ah! friend? Break this little rat apart and find out everything. No! R2 is so sassy. If you think you're gonna get anything out of him, like... I mean, I don't think that that's going to happen. I know you're fond of that droid, but he's fallen into enemy hands. I could rescue R2. Yeah. No, this is not a rescue mission. Keep jamming their scanners. Ah! If they spot us, we're dead. Obi-Wan, you know I usually really live for you, but... Not R2! We'll need Goldie to open secured hatches and access the station's computer for us. Oh, and Rex, you get to carry him. Uh, that's just great. Ah! Follow me, boys! Wow, okay, that's just, wow, she just, she just did that. Okay. Next time, you're lugging this astromech around. Ah! 
feels great. That'll feel great. Oh! I hope you find R2 in one piece. I hope so too. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. It appears this droid's mission memory has never been erased. It contains every Republic formation and strategy they have. I don't need him to know this. This droid is worth more. I get paid more. Now I suggest... <laughs> Who's surprised? Oh, I mean. I was like, either this droid is like really, really fucking up or up to no good. No good. Oh, God. Let's not trust Goldie here. Yeah, no, this is a mess. Okay. Okay. We need to bench Goldie. What a mess. Oh god, and R2 is all over the place. Well, that didn't work great, but that did, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry to interrupt your playtime, Grumpy. Ah! For a challenge. Oh! <gasps> oh my God! Okay, Ahsoka, you got this. You got this. Oh! You gonna find him? There you go. R two's like I've been having a day. Oh my god. Where is the fight you promised me, youngling? I'm looking for you. So far. Yeah, that's Can evident. You me? Goldie, over here. Oh, sweetie, no, sweetie, no. Okay, well, she'll be okay. You have something that belongs to me. Ah! Oh! Then why did you have to drop him like that? That's so rude. Oh. oh. There you go, R2. Killing it. Killing it! There you go. There you go. Thanks, R2. It's great to see you too, buddy. Oh! You okay? Look, sorry, R2. Ah! It was Obi Wan's idea. Look, we'll talk about this later. Twilight. He's so insulted. So, where is Ahsoka? She engaged General Grievous. Alone? She distracted him while we completed the mission. It was on her orders, sir. We gotta find her. I can take you to her, sir. Oh my god, this little shit! What's the matter with you? Are you trying to get us killed? He's like, uh, yeah. Yes, bitch. Yes, I am. Damn! This is crazy! Bad feeling about this, sir. Yeah, no shit. That double crossing droid is a spy. Oh my 
god! Having love for a droid is a crime, then I am guilty. I am guilty. Uh, I loved the focus on R2 in these two, and, and just Anakin's relationship with R2 in these two episodes. So amazing. Okay. Um, and I, I just like, because I, I will say, I think for at least a little bit of this, you know, R2 has been, I mean, he's been there, obviously, it, it, but he hasn't been like a very prevalent character um, so far in at least the episodes that I've watched. So I'm really, really glad that he got a little bit of focus and a little bit of displaying kind of why we love R2. Like, he's very capable as a droid, you know, he, he, he knows how to get out of some situations and, um, even though, you know, he was, went missing and, you know, was taken or whatever, it's kind of like, yeah, you, you don't worry too much about him, like, uh, not just because you, you know, have some forward knowledge of stuff, but, but just because he is such a capable droid and, and can handle things, you know what I mean? I really love that. Um, and I love that this so... Okay. Um, so so there's that. I actually really liked the focus on Ahsoka in this as well. Um, as much as it's not as prevalent as, as Anakin's relationship with R2, I think it's good to see that she can... She can handle herself in situations. And yeah, maybe... You know, maybe she doesn't necessarily pick up on stuff like uh, as early but that's okay you know she's a kid she's still learning but she she is showing that she can hold her own and that she's um you know uh brave and willing to kind of do what she needs to do for for the mission at hand um so i did really like that focus in this these two episodes as well I will say General Grievous seemed a little bit more like threatening in, in these two, as I think I talked about um, before that sometimes he's not the most threatening villain in my opinion. And I liked the, the focus on the, the kind of lightsaber fight with him and Ahsoka and and the fact that they were, you know, um, even the, the opening little bit in episode six at the beginning where they kind of said, you know, um, he's been kind of, um, he's been having a lot of success and everything like that. I'm, I'm glad that they, they are trying, um, in my opinion, um, for whatever it's worth, it just 
trying to make him a little bit more threatening um, and everything like that. Uh, as I said before, having a bad guy kind of show up and, and fail a good portion of the time is really not going to make you, and that's not really going to strike fear, you know what I mean? But I thought that this was a, this was kind of well done for, for, you know, showcasing him as, as a, as a worthy adversary, as opposed to just, like, he kind of messes up and then he's like, oh man, I messed up, and then he has to flee, you know, it's a kind of, Bye. So I like that a lot about this one. Um, and I genuinely, truly, really loved the fact that this focused on Anakin's love for R2 and, and his care. You know, obviously that I feel like that's going to be a recurring theme throughout the series is we're going to focus on Anakin having these strong affections, loyalty, whatever you want to call it, um, for, uh, different characters that he deeply cares for. And obviously what lengths he goes to, you know, um, and I hope that we'll dive even more into what are the dangers of that and what aren't the dangers of the, you know, um, I think it was, you know, especially in this one, I feel like him wanting to get R2 is, I, I, as much as I know he's not supposed to get attached, I like, I like the fact, you know, like, it also, he, you know, he makes a good point. He's like, I never erased his, his, his memory. And that's one come in handy, um, as Ahsoka pointed out, but just also, like, I just think in general, like, um, you know, I was a little bit more on, on Anakin's side here, and I think obviously it's probably because I, I do love R2. And, and I will say, it's a little rare. Whenever, like, Obi-Wan and Anakin have their little back and forths, and we'll see, we'll see if it changes or whatever, but I'm typically more on Obi-Wan's side. I, you know, I'm typically a little bit more, because he's just, I don't know, more like me, like I relate to how he responds in situations and everything like that. Um, so, you know, um, but this, I think this was maybe the first time that I was just like, no, Obi-Wan, go away. <laughs> <This is not laughs> we need to get R2. We do not have time for this. <laughs> like, um, and you know, I think that they, they should do everything, you know, could you imagine if 3PO went missing or something. Uh, get the whole arsenal ready. We gotta go. We gotta go get him. Like, that's how I feel about that. So, you know, I, I get it. I understand droid aff affection, care. You know what I mean? Eh, anyway. Um, so I, I, I really, really love that. And, and again, the, just the focus on, on Anakin is, and, I, I love that they, they portray it in such a positive light. This, th these two episodes is kind of a positive light. We want R2 to be okay. We're all okay with, for the most part, I guess I can't speak for everybody, but like, you know, we're in general as an audience, okay, with Anakin going to, to, to save R2. Of course you're going to go save R2. Obviously, we love. But it, it, it's, it's shown in such a positive light, but you can, you know, it, it, it's also a, a, a reminder that when it comes to the people that he loves, he may not really listen to orders or rules, or I mean, to be fair, he probably doesn't listen to orders very often anyway, um, given his personality and track record. But you know what I mean? Like, I think it's, it's important that they're kind of exploring it. Um, you know, and we're really not getting too far down the, you know, down the rabbit hole or so to speak about all of that. But I think it's really important to focus on. And I loved that. Uh, loved the droid fight. The, the R2, R3 fight. Um, it was great. It was very, I, I just, I loved it. it. It's, there's a certain amount for, for a droid that doesn't actually you know, speak in English. Anyway, um, it's, it's kind of nice, 
that they are still able to showcase his personality so well. Um, cause he's just, you just know he's such a sassy droid, even if he's not saying anything. And I, you know, and I, he's just resourceful and he's got this charisma. It's weird to say, but he does. And I like that all of that was kind of portrayed throughout this episode, but also with, um, you know, that, that, R2, R3 fight. That was, that was amazing. Loved it. Um, this was good. I really enjoyed these two episodes and, you know, you got to appreciate Focus on R2D2. You know what I mean? You just have to. All right. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.